The curator Arcanorum, Lucas Ader, looked down into the nilometer. The raids had increased in frequency lately, no doubt the work of Marshall, Carter, and Dark. That ancient organization surely wanted one of their oldest and most powerful artifacts back. Lucas had been entrusted by the Foundation with its safety and upkeep, but he was getting old now, and the stress was wearing upon him. Lucas! Lucas! Are you still there? I'm sorry, I was lost in my own thoughts. Yes, Dr. Kloss. Of course, if you think the issue requires your attention, you are most welcome. But I tell you again, it is not necessary. We have the matter under control. My son can manage. Maybe so, but SCP-2418 is too valuable to be lost. I'm on my way. Yes, of course you honor me, Saeed. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-2418, Gift of Osiris. So, what's the story behind this thing? The quick version? Ancient Deep Well restores you to your youth. Nice. What's the catch? The catch? I've been on this job long enough. There's always a catch. When you're right, you're right. You need a sacrifice. And not just any sacrifice. Someone who really means something to you. A wife, child, you get the idea. Rough. Life for a life, eh? Kloss nodded as he looked out the window. The warehouse was enormous. All sorts of artifacts and anomalies had been stored here for generations. Lucas's ancestors, dating back hundreds of years, had all been entrusted with the care and maintenance of the Nilometer, and in later times, other occult artifacts from Egypt's past. This is my son, Luke. He will soon be taking over from me when I'm too old and frail to do the job anymore. Don't exaggerate, Lucas. I'm sure you'll be with us for a long time still. You honor me, Saeed. Let us take a look at the reason you've come all the way here, shall we? They walked down the turning stairway. In the bottom of the well, ominous glowing blue water stirred. The waters from the well that entered the lower chamber were blessed by the god Osiris and had enormous healing powers. Legends told of how the Roman Emperor Hadrian had renamed the Temple and Nilometer in honor of his dead beloved, Antinous. The new god, Osiris Antinous, granted new life to those who had the fortitude to sacrifice someone beloved to them. So, you said the attacks have increased in frequency? Yes. We believe it to be Marshall, Carter, and Dark again. I believe an old friend of mine, from my youth, is leading them and giving them my secrets. Understood. I don't see any alternative. We need to move it. Move it? Are you sure something so drastic is necessary? At least temporarily, yes. But I'm too old. I can't go with it. Your son, Luke. He can take over for you, at least for now, until we can move it back. Luke? Luke, yes, yes, you honor us, Sayyid. A good choice indeed. Chen patrolled the area surrounding the temple. They had received reports that agents of Marshal Carter and Dark had been spotted in the vicinity. Luke, you up for this? Your dad spoke highly of you, so I'm expecting you to hold your position and do your job, no matter what happens tonight. Got it? Luke nodded his head. Shortly past 2 a.m., a man in a kafiya approached the front gate of the compound. They approached the man slowly, having radioed in that a possible situation was developing at the north gate. An explosion from the south gate tore through the fence. As the emergency sirens came to life, a Humvee tore through the southern perimeter, hitting for the warehouse. Chen grabbed Luke. Go back inside. I need you to hold the interior in case they get past us. And find your father. Make sure he's safe. The Humvee was overturned, having hit a small supply shack near the entrance it came through. The agents slowly approached, weapons trained on the vehicle. Empty. There was no one inside. It suddenly dawned on Chen. Diversion! All units, north entrance, now! As they reached the northern perimeter, they saw the two agents, dead. The kafiya of the man who had approached, lying on the floor next to them. Get to the temple. They're already inside. The agents came through the warehouse, 
it had been left relatively unguarded within, as they hadn't expected anyone to get this far. As they moved towards the temple, they saw a few dead agents on the ground. From within, they could see an eerie, glowing blue light. They went down the stairs, moving slowly, but heard nothing from below. As they reached the bottom of the well, they saw Luke, unconscious on the steps. At his feet, in the water, was a corpse. It looked like it had had the life drawn from it. On the other side was the man who had breached the northern gate. A gunshot wound to the head had sealed his fate. Luke! Luke! Wake up! The man slowly opened his eyes and focused on Chen. What? What happened? You must have been knocked out. Your father. He's dead. I'm sorry. Do you know what happened? All I remember is coming down here and seeing father struggling with that man. The next thing I knew, you were here. He must have died stopping him. Do you recognize that man? I'm not sure. He does look a bit familiar. Perhaps from my childhood. Why? Just a hunch. It looks like he tried to use your father to rejuvenate himself. Never mind that now. Let's get you up. Take my hand. Thank you. You honor me, Sayyid. The property containing SCP-2418 is owned by a foundation front, Shaloub, Caldwell, and Pedroti, under the guise of a temporary storage location for artifacts being smuggled out of Egypt. At no point should more than one person enter SCP-2418, except under controlled testing conditions. Testing of SCP-2418's anomalous properties requires the approval of the Site-42 Ethics Committee liaison. SCP-2418 is an ancient nilometer located in the basement level of a house in El Sheikh Abada, a small town in southern Egypt. SCP-2418 was originally constructed in the 13th century BCE by the pharaoh Ramses II as part of a temple to Isis and Osiris. The most recent phase of construction dates to circa 130 AD, when the Roman city of Antonopolis was founded at the site of the older temple complex. SCP-2418's anomalous properties manifest when two individuals enter the water at the bottom and one of those individuals dies of asphyxiation. These individuals must be married or otherwise in a romantic relationship, close relatives, siblings or a parent and child, or close friends. The surviving individual will experience a powerful rejuvenating effect. The effects of aging will be reversed significantly, and chronic diseases, sometimes including genetic or congenital conditions, will be cured. The strength of the rejuvenating effect seems to scale proportionally with the strength of the relationship between the individuals, and inversely with the age of the deceased. In no recorded cases has an individual been rejuvenated to an apparent age of less than 25. SCP-2418 was acquired in 2011 as part of Operation Harpocrates, a coordinated attack on Marshall, Carter and Dark Acids in Egypt during which the Foundation used a combination of physical raids, political upheaval, and economic manipulation to effectively remove the presence of MCND and associated groups from the country. Recovered documents from circa 130 CE tell the story of how the Emperor, Publius Aelius Hadrianus Augustus, came upon the Temple of Osiris and the Nilometer. Having been very sick, he was told of a place that could heal him. Upon meeting the Curator Archonorum, one Lucius Cecilius Adder. He was taken within the well and shown the powers it held within. He was told how Ozymandias the Great had established a temple and how Alexander the Great and the further Ptolemies had taken great solace and healing from it. Around this time, Hadrian's beloved, Antinous, had fallen ill and perished. Hadrian had the temple fully restored and rededicated to Antinous, elevating him to the god Osiris Antinous. He placed the well and the temple in the care of the Curator Archonorum forevermore. Hadrian's health was restored to him shortly thereafter. Upon discovery of his tomb in 1965, a marble plaque was discovered with the words, Antinous, most beautiful, most wise, forgive me, I beg of you, great God, for placing your life's worth below my own. Kings and emperors may rise and fall, one not much different from the other, but great beauties are eternal, heavenly, each one unique, each one perfection. And in my sickness and my hubris, I, 
a mortal man allowed to touch divinity destroyed such beauty just to save my life. Forgive me, I beg of you, great God. Antinous, most beautiful, most wise. It just goes to show, no gift comes without a price to pay. The question though is, are you willing to bear that price? As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like and share, if you would. شكرا على المشاهدة. لا تنسى الاشتراك وضغط زر الاعجاب ومشاركة الفيديو مع اصدقائك. إلى اللقاء. Until next time, farewell.